Hello and good morning. Um, this is Bobby with Homespun Home and I'm going to try to do this video and um, get it posted if possible. I did a video the other day and um, I tried to uh, download it to YouTube and for some reason it just refused to go. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, I've got the Adobe Premiere Elements uh, program and I'm just using a laptop so I'm not sure what's, what the problem is. But um, as you know, most of the time I don't have any issues with um, you know downloading. I usually render the computer, or not the computer, but I render the video first and then I set it to either my pictures or desktop or whatever and then I um, submit it to YouTube uh, to download and usually it doesn't take long um, it doesn't take long to render for sure and then it doesn't take long usually to download sometimes it may take a little bit um, depending on the length of the video of course but anyway it is super early um, it's about five o'clock five thirty give or take um, right now in Eastern North Carolina and I have been um, up since about three o'clock this morning I just woke up couldn't go back to sleep um, I've had a lot kind of twirling you know swirling around in my mind and um, the origin of my sleeplessness has to do with the apology video that Bell's Reborn Nursery um, put out. The other day, um, I just happened to turn on uh, YouTube and was just kind of going through and I discovered that she had downloaded or posted this apology video. And I was really excited because I thought, wow, you know, this is going to be interesting, you know, for sure. And I felt very elated and very proud of Jen for, you know, initiating an apology. And then I listened to the video and very carefully. And I knew without a shadow of a doubt, I knew that there was going to be some backlash um, because with everything that's going on regarding Jen, um, it's just been a nonstop, long-term issue with evidently a lot of different things that have transpired in her interaction with customers, uh, her, you know, comments supposedly that she has made to um, different, you know, uh, people. Um, just a whole history supposedly of offenses that have really stirred up the reborn community and the way things are looking right now jen's reputation has been muddled to the point where i don't even know if there's going to be any recovery for her now let me just make a waiver here a lot of you guys know you know, for one, I'm not a reborn artist, and for two, I, from the very beginning, started to support Jen and Sam when they first started their uh, YouTube channels. And I'm a very loyal, you know, um, subscriber. You know, once I subscribe, I 99.9% .9 of the time will stick with that channel, regardless of whether I agree with everything they do and say or not, okay? I've made that clear to a lot of the ladies that, you know, made comments to me regarding Jen and her, um, you know, shenanigans and, um, you know, different things that, that have transpired that she is supposedly responsible for. Um, and, you know, I have supported and I, I, you know, I, I just listened to a lady. I've been, okay, let me backtrack a little. Being a supporter of Jen and Sam from the very beginning, you know, uh, not knowing that all of this stuff was going to transpire, naturally, you know, 
I was very committed to Sam, very committed to Jen when, um, and I don't mean to bring up, you know, a sore subject, but when they were being ousted um, by Reborn um, or Blogger, who is now M's Gem. And I will say, let me just say, back in the day when there was an issue with um, um, Sam and M, uh, M had a live that I went to. And, you know, this is when Sam was on the blacklist as well as Jen, for whatever reason, with, with um, Blogger. But one night, you know, I all of this had been swirling around prior to this um, document with Sam's daughter, okay? I'm going way back. In my defense, um, I went to... I decided to bravely step into the live that Blogger, um, now M's Gem, was having. And she was very gracious to me, very kind, very polite, very mature, and allowed me to be a mediator without jumping down, you know, my back and asking me, why are you here? Aren't you on the other side? And, you know, she didn't give me any type of negative vibe or any type of shade or anything. She welcomed me and actually told the ladies that were present during the live to let me speak my mind, let me speak my piece and, and not to, to, you know, block me or put me on a temporary hold or whatever y'all call that where, you know, um, I'm on timeout or whatever. She, and I was taken out a couple times and then I was allowed back in. So I told um, Blogger, hey, you know, I'm not here to create drama or any problems or to ruffle anybody's feathers, but I was trying to be a mediator and I was letting her know, can we just, you know, can you guys just lay down the sword? Can you make peace? Can you just, you know, move on from the issue at hand? Um, whatever was going on, that caused the riff. I, I guess it had something to do with the date concerning Sam's daughter. I don't know. I'll, you know, I was there, but I can't remember all the details now. But so while I was talking with um, blogger, uh, she, that, like I said, she treated me with open arms. She welcomed me. Um, there was no problem. And I spoke my piece about, you know, look, this is getting old and. It makes me really sad to see, you know, this um, this, this division going on. And I was there to mediate. I was there to encourage a sense of peace. And I didn't broadcast that. Nobody asked me to do that. Sam didn't ask me to do that. Jen didn't ask me to do that. I did it on my own. And while I was at Bloggers Live, someone made the comment that, Sam was live, so I said to Blogger, if you don't mind, um, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to run over to Sam. And so when I went over to Sam, somebody else had beat me to the draw and went over there and, and sort of tattletailed and told Sam that I was on M's live. And it kind of put a question mark in Sam's mind. And I felt a little something there about you know, well, why would you go over there? But I couldn't explain myself adequately enough to let her know I, I was merely over there to try to be a mediator, you know? And I use the example of when you have a war going on between two groups back in the days when they use the, the, the armor and the swords and all that, they would get a representative from both, uh, from the camp to meet with the king and try to mediate or come to terms. And that's what I was trying to do. So that was totally misunderstood on Sam's part, I do believe, and I did try to explain, but it already put a big question mark in her mind and she kind of shut me out. She didn't block me, she didn't cuss me, she didn't do anything irrational in that, that way, but I could feel that there was some kind of uh, sentiment on a negative connotation from Sam. You know, sometimes, you know, you're just intuitively aware that there's some shade 
or a vibe, a negative vibe. So anyway, I couldn't explain myself adequately as to why I was over there. But it, I'll, lo and behold, not too long after that, all of a sudden, um, Blogger made peace, Jen made peace, and Sam was upset because, you know, Jen didn't consult with her, and then it turned into another big disagreement, whatever. So then, um, you know, at that point, when Sam started coming down on Jen very heavily, and they became disenchanted with each other, um, I naturally stuck up for Jen because I would I did the same thing for Sam. I stuck up for Sam. I stuck up for Jen. But then Jen and Sam became enemies, more or less. And, of course, we all know, Sam, that you went hot and heavy on your platform when you would do your um, nightly, weekly videos. Um, there was a lot of things said, um, uh, a lot of finger pointing and that type of thing, and it was pretty hot and heavy on your part. And it, in retaliation, you know, Jen would come on, but I just always supported Jen. And anytime anything negative was said, I would try to see the other side of the spectrum. And that really turned off a lot of people, I'm sure, especially you, Sam, if you're watching this. Um, and I wasn't trying to justify wrongdoing, but I was wholly committed to Jen. And like I said, I was committed to you at one point. And I still am, you know, as far as I know, I'm still a subscriber to you, Sam. I may not be, but I never took, you know, walked away from your uh, platform because I listened to everybody. I listened to Pixie Mommy. I listened to um, uh, to you. I listened to Inez. I, I, I listened to um, Andrea. I, I listened to everybody, you know, but Jen was my number one girl. But as things have progressed and I've made it clear to Jen that I care for her very much but I, you know, so she does the apology video and then uh, M's Gems came on and said some things and I'm listening, you know, to her. She, I think she was the first video I listened to after Jen's apology. And um, I wrote down some things and I made a video and I'm glad now that it didn't post because I think it would have been totally misunderstood but I did applaud Jen, and I do applaud Jen that she was willing to step forward. But listening to M, you know, and there were some things that she said that I didn't agree with, but there were still some things that made me wonder and made me think. And then the next video that I watched was um, Sam's video. And I also watched Andrea's video. And several others, and Doll Oz as well. I watched her video in, in reference to the apology uh, video that Jen did. And I also, there's this other lady I just watched um, tonight or yesterday, um, Bronx 62, I think. Didn't realize she was a really close friend with Jen at one point or another, and I listened to her yesterday and finished up this morning because she had several parts to her videos um and you know i was just but but what really spurred me is i listened to him and then then here comes sam so when i saw sam's video um in response to jen's apology first and foremost my first thought was i could see the stress on sam's face like I just couldn't believe how how awful her essence was. I mean, she looked like she'd lost 30 pounds. And I could see the stress. She looked gaunt. She looked tired. She looked sick. She looked worried. She looked frazzled. I mean, 100% frazzled. Okay, so she's going on, you know, and talking. And, and, you know, shared with everybody how she went to Jen heart to heart about the document. And as a mother, pleading the cause to another mother, hoping that, you know, Jen's heart would be softened somewhat. And Jen basically just gapped it off. 
and I'm just listening. And then the, sin the sincerity and the desperation with Sam in that video just overwhelmed me. And I felt like a puddle of, of, I don't know, compassion, I guess. I just melted. And when she started crying and losing it, which I completely understood, you know, it didn't scare me. It just, the rawness of her video and the clarity and the sincerity and the desperation just really pierced my heart. And that was kind of a turning point for me a little bit because, well, I won't even say a little bit. It was a turning, major turning point for me um, in that, you know, and I think that this is going to be misunderstood on Jen's part because she may misconstrue this as turning my affections away from her, but I'm not wanting to turn my affections away from Jen and my compassion and my pity that I feel for you, Jen, because I care for you and it hurts me very much that the request on Sam's part regarding her daughter was more or less shrugged off as if it meant nothing. And I, like I said, I don't agree, I didn't agree with everything that Sam said. And now when I watch Doll Oz, okay, in defense of Jen, um, you know, Jen, I guess, was making a point to indicate that Doll Oz was a liar, although she didn't come out and say, well, Doll Oz it was a liar, but she made indication of, and Doll Oz, of course, responded, but I want to say to Doll Oz, now, in all fairness, I understand what you're saying about the, um, the, el the elephant or whatever it was that uh, you wanted and you paid for and come to find out it was already sold and then um, you were informed that the elephant was not going to be able to be, um, a new one was not going to be able to be made. And so you got your refund from that. But the other lovey that you purchased, um, you got a refund for that as well. Um, and you indicated you had to wash it because it smelled like cigarette smoke. But the thing is, that I c concur with the fact that you felt that Jen called you a liar and I agree that you would call her out on that, but you went extra. I mean, you called her every name in the book that you could possibly think of that you could pull from the gutter and I just thought that was going way in above and beyond the scenario. You know, it, you went way over, you know, calling her all these horrible names you know, it just was not necessary to go to that extent. I mean, yes, call her out on the fact that you felt that she misrepresented and you made it clear that you didn't have an address with which to return the item that you did have. So you, and you've asked for the, you know, information so you could return the, the, the lovey, but, and I understand all that. So, you know, that was enough to clarify and, and call Jen out on, but to call her, you know, all these horrible names, and it was just from the gutter, it, it just, that, that was inappropriate, but that's just my opinion, and I know you were standing up for the fact that you felt she was calling you a liar, but my goodness gracious, way over the top on that one. So in defense of Jen, that, you know, that was in my book, you know, way too much. Um, you didn't even react as harshly with Jen over the child thing, doll Oz, as you did over being called a liar. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. But after watching Sam's video <clears throat> and her, um, just the whole essence of the video just really got to me. And really, really pierced my heart. And I have not been able to get it out of my mind since watching it. And then I've been watching, like I said, all these others. 
you know and part of me was defensive because i was saying well these women are trying to convince me they're trying to twist my arm they're trying to persuade me to turn my back on jen to walk away from my so called you know what little bit of a relationship i mean i know it's youtube and we really don't know people for who they really are but it's like everyone wants to encourage me it seemed so i did have my defenses up to shy away from jen but i didn't i don't want to do that she's now as far as me personally she's never done anything to me um i'm not an artist and i haven't purchased any of her babies and that type of thing i just am a loyal contact a loyal subscriber um and i have stuck up for jen many 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 times but i wanted to say jen without it being misinterpreted by you as turning against you um and I thought, I didn't think I'd ever say this, but I feel so strongly that you need to, and I know the word's been blurted out there so many times, but I think you need to retract, especially so with the issue regarding Sam's little girl. Um, the video that I couldn't post, I may comment that it was like an onion that you want to peel back the layers and nobody expects you to get on here and try to remember every infraction, but the one infraction, especially with Sam and her little girl needs to be addressed and there needs to be a truly repentant heartfelt, face-to-face -face, um, explanation um, and retraction to Sam and her little girl for the document or whatever it was that was put out there. And I really wish with all my heart and I'm talking to you, Jen, as someone who cares for you, okay, that you would be forthright and share the dirty little secrets, I guess you could call it, of where the seed was initiated. Where did this document concept come from? Who was the influencer that pushed or let me say they didn't push you but they manipulated you to come forth publicly with the document involving Sam's daughter there's one person I think in the background of all of this that has used you Jen as a pawn I think that they have used you as a pawn and I'm not going to say the name of that person because I don't really know her that well, but I feel that she used you as a pawn to do her dirty work and it re de deflected from her who's standing in the background, chuckling under her breath, having a little dance over the fact that she was able to create this whirlpool or the cesspool of drama regarding Sam's daughter and the document and that all that revelation that was so unnecessarily posted for the world to see. That has really turned the community upside down on its head. Um, I think that the retraction needs to start with the seed that was planted by that particular person. And I, I would like to think that you would be willing to divulge the very start or the very birth of this infestation. Where did it come from? Who, who dropped this little turd in your lap? And you ran with it, Jen, because, not because you're evil necessarily. I, you know, I don't know. 
a lot of people say you're evil, this, that, and the other. Okay, but there's someone that had a greater power behind you, a greater ability to manipulate, coerce, and friendly persuade. Like, when I say friendly persuade, I mean acted, I'm your friend, you can trust me, did you know this, did you see that? Da 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 da. And you're like, you ate it up, hook, line, and sinker. And then it came back out, regurgitated back out onto the community. But because of the fact that it involved an innocent victim and a child at that, a minor, was the icing on the cake that broke, you know, the, the straw that broke the camel's back. And I think the person that uh, planted this ugly seed, you need to tell us, you know, come right on out and say, you know, the apology video was a start, but it was not sufficient. It needed to contain um, more accountability, not so generalized. Like I said, I know you can't go back and retract every single infraction, but I think a big start and a big he part of healing, which there's going to be long-term re repercussions because that was a very serious, you know, uh, act to display private information that involved a minor, but. I think that if you start there and, and, and you are sincere and, and forthright, I feel that you were used and you didn't realize you were being used by a particular person who enjoys creating issues in the community because it's more exciting that way. It gives that person a sense of control. It gives that person a sense of purpose it gives that person a sense of entertainment and they used you like an old broom and guess where the negative impact landed it didn't land on her the one that initiated the situation it landed in your lap Jen and it made you look like despicable in the eyes of the community but I don't have any odd against you but I just want to express to you as someone who has really been with you from the very beginning and I'm not all buddy buddy with everybody that's on the other side of the fence because I'm saying this I'm saying this because I really want to see some sense of resolution here some sense of um, retraction and specifically with regards to Sam, because I just, I don't know, I just, I couldn't hardly stand to see her fall apart like that. It, it's got to stop. And you can't brush it under the rug and say, okay, we're going to just move on and I'm going to be positive from here on out. You can't because this is going to follow you throughout the whole endeavors that you you know put out there for your business it's going to impact your reputation it's going to impact your business and it's not going to be on a positive note you know and i i feel strongly that if the business is to be a success and if you are to eradicate you know all of this uh negativism from your reputation you need to be forthright and you need to be willing to um, retract about, you know, Sam and her little girl. And I guess if Doll Oz wants you to apologize to her um, because she did say she does not possess the elephant, that she was refunded that money, but she's been trying to return the lovey, but she wasn't able to do so because she didn't have a current address with which to send it back to you. Um, so it's not like she stole the item. She truly wished that she could send it back. But 
you know, of course, you're not going to give out certain information to certain people for fear that it will turn into a, um, you know, a very negative scenario. You know, you don't want hate mail coming to your house and you don't want someone, you know, that knows where you live in case they get crazy and decide to do something stupid. But I, I just feel in my heart, Jen, because I do care for you. And evidently this lady, uh, Bronx 62 and you and her had a good tight relationship, but from what she says, you, the friendship was based on lies and that's, that just broke my heart. And I hope that's not the case with me. I, you know, I've supported you. She said she supported you. She stuck up for you. She, you know, turned a blind eye to everything and really had the greatest and utmost respect and trust. And it was shattered. And I don't want that to be the case for me. And I'm not doing this for my benefit, this video. I'm doing this for you, Jen, because I care for you and I wanna see some, I wanna see some positive. I wanna see some rectifying. I wanna see some retraction. I wanna see some true, you know, um, heartfelt um, sorrow, I guess you could say not to please me, not to put on a show for me, but to be genuinely sorry, to really stop and think about Sam's little girl and think about Sam, because I mean, she, man, um, I have never seen Sam look and sound as tormented and as upset as when she did that video in response to your apology. It just did something to me. I guess I could feel the sincerity and the desperation in her video and then Bronx uh, 62, I could feel her sincerity very much so. And I just was like, oh my God, you know, I, because I was just convinced, everybody's trying to convince me to go against you, Jen, and I don't wanna do that. So as one friend to another, I, I please, please um, put on your big girl panties and step up to the plate and retract with Sam's daughter and any other retraction that you need. I mean, I know you feel like you apologized, but evidently it was lacking. It seemed like there was still more that needed to be said. There needed to be more sentiment behind the comments as well. Um, everyone felt that it was, you know, um, very shallow. And it doesn't matter if it was scripted, you know, you can write things down. I write things down all the time and refer to it when I'm, if I'm doing a video and I wanna bring out certain thoughts. So that's not the issue. I think it's the lack of sincerity and the tone with which it was presented seemed to be very shallow. So Jen, do the right thing. And think about the person that was standing behind you in the shadows that's just having a heyday, just having a big party, laughing her head off. Because technically she doesn't really care for you. She doesn't appreciate you. She used you as a pawn. And unfortunately, you ran with it. Now, whether your intention was for evil or you just made a poor choice, you know, whatever. But... It's one person I know that had the stronghold on you and you're suffering the consequences while she's sitting back in the shadows having a good old laugh.